What is going on, everybody? Shibarium scaling update number four is here. Uh, we just got it hot off the presses. You're starting to see a minimal pump right now on the SHIB chart, but uh, they're looking at a pump of about 37% uh, to 1134. They're just guessing. Um, Shaitoshi says winners focus on winning, losers focus on making youtube videos why you gotta do that shit to me why you gotta do that to me like that's ew, gross uh coinbase has bought a stake in circle so usdc is now coinbase based but there's no fees on that by the way uh we've been seeing that for a while uh you know it looks like they're uh that, that's uh, it, it seems like in in retrospect that was probably due to happen and polygon Looks like it's in danger of falling way, way, and the rock means way down. Or, uh, as the the new The Rock says, let me talk to you. Yeah. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. It's your boy, please. Everybody listen up. listen up, let's get it. Let's get it. I'm trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. Big profit. Going the market sideways, I'm looking for ways to get paid. I'm checking my coins around breakfast, then again around bedtime, bet this. It's not financial advice, <laughs> but I'm always right. I'm always right. I'm always right. I'm always right. I'm always right, 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 I'm always right. All right, what is going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Bleeves. This is Breakfast with Bleeves. We're here to talk about the broader crypto market, letting you know what is going on today. First and foremost, the big news. The big news is Shibarium, I think, is ready to go. Now, I'm going to read this. Uh, it's a two-minute read, so we're going to lead off that way before we get into chat uh, and talk about what we have right here. So, um, after two days of testing and tweaking parameters to achieve ready state, Shibarium is now enhanced and optimized. Uh, that SHIB is very fat. By the way, Rest in peace, uh, Cheems, one of the uh, early Shiba Inu dogs, uh, passed away a couple days ago. So um, cheers to you, my friend. After two days of testing and tweaking parameters to achieve ready state, Shibarium is now enhanced and optimized. As mentioned, it is still in testing but producing blocks. Moreover, we have enabled a new monitoring system and additional fail-safes, including rate limiting at the RPC level and auto server reset in case we get a huge level of traffic again. We are almost ready to reopen to the public. FUD sucks, among other things. It's designed to either make you sell your bags or convince you that the fudder is important or deserves your attention so they can get you to buy their crappy product instead. Why you got to talk about Rodney like this? Jesus Christ. You'll be able to tell fudders as they constantly switch their complaints uh, as the FUD becomes provably false, considering things advancing and changing as we remain agile. For instance, one piece of FUD is that Shibarium was never going to come. Uh, another was that I am not focused on decentralization. Uh, this FUD is now laughable as I've presented what is argu arguably the most comprehensive decentralization document the world has ever seen. I don't know uh, what the FUD will be, but I look forward to disproving it through hard work and dedication to our ethos, ecosystem, and state. Uh, the good friend of mine said something powerful today. Winners focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. For the upcoming winners, the protocols, people, and projects that are ready to work on Shibarium, we look forward to talking about your work and telling the world about you. For those wondering what you can do on Shibarium outside of delegation, the, the answer lies within these products, protocols, and services. Just like the amazing platform on Ethereum, uh, there will be a host of platforms to choose from on Shibarium. And I need to take a moment before we go public to mention once again that everyone should do your own research on any project project, product, token, service, platform, or whatever else may exist on Shibarium so that they make decisions that won't affect their well-being long-term. 
do your own research should be your mantra. Tomorrow, additional validators will go live, giving even more options for you to stake your bone for a share of the rewards earned for those two roles in our society. Testing will wrap up. We will prepare for public consumption once again. Speaking of our society, tomorrow we will simply start implementing the ship paper so that within this year, you can have more than just a framework, but a working system for governance and management that proves our perpetual decentralization, um, decentralized digital nation state is real and here to change the world. Rest well, SHIB Army. So uh, we do have an update. We do know that by tomorrow, we will see Shibarium live once again. That should lead, as people are starting to look, uh, that should uh, be leading into a little bit of a pump. And as you can see right here, bone has started to pump. Uh, this just came out not long ago, a couple of hours, and now it's starting to gain traction. We're starting to see a move on bone. Uh, we're starting to see a move back up from SHIB uh, from this low of 78 over here. I, I don't want to count that. That was really a dip in the overall broader market. Uh, so we're starting to see a little bit of movement positively as people are starting to FOMO their way back into uh, SHIB. So uh, we should see something happening uh, in that price action coming uh, to a theater near you. Hashtag Barbie. Hey, uh, Barbie, um, or for those of you that didn't see Barbie, by the way, uh, and shout out to everybody in chat. We're going to get into it in just a second. But uh, uh, Barbie just hit a billion dollars uh, worldwide, or Barbie is now 7.2 Sound of Freedoms. So uh, shout out to the Barbie people, billion dollar enterprise. Uh, shout out to Sound of Freedom. Uh, performed way above expectations, uh, did a great job despite casting Jim Cavazio. That's that's a no-brainer for me. Like, it's one of those movies where I was just like, eh, if he's in it, I don't want to watch it. Because, like, isn't that the guy that got beat up by the Romans one time? You know what, I mean? you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, J.R. Alcorta says, hello from Texas. Slap Yo Mama says, cosmological loser, a person who is a waste of both space and time. Uh, good morning, Richard Caldwell. Stick beaters in the house. Trail bosses here. Jay Locke, Richard Nelson, Tim Davies in the house, uh, Red Beard, it, hit the like button, make sure that you do that. Harry Potter Simpson, Shiba Inu 777 is dead. Oh, that would be a shame. Uh, let's go look at it and let's see. Is it dead? Hmm. Uh, it's holding on, so I would predict that there's a rally uh, to about right here on that final run. So if you're in, then you might have a price point. Now, the other one, by the way, is right about here. So it uh, looks like there'll be a rally. Uh, it is trying to hold support. So um, I, I would say that, that maybe, just maybe, uh, they can spring a reversal. They've added a couple hundred new holders in the last uh, 24 hours. So um, as you know, look, most of these things do pump, they do dump. This did a double top and it dumped. Uh, a new double top would probably be um, certainly helpful for it. And it does have a bit of reversal going on. So uh, good luck to everybody. Um, yeah, so uh, looks like to me that there's going to be a little bit of a reversal, but yeah. We'll see. Anyway, so now we have clarity on that. Um, Jay Steele says, I have been doing really well on bone. I hope it starts taking off again. Me too. Uh, my stop loss is set at a dollar, uh, one dollar $1 one cent. Well, actually, it's just going to be a liquidation at one dollar and one cent, but uh, 4,400 bone I'm sitting on right now. Uh, that sounds gay. Um, 4,400 bone I'm sitting on, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping to see a, a nice big rally and a nice big run up to 210, which is the number that I thought it was going to hit to begin with. So I think that you know, the, the ship rally is going to resume very, very quickly. Uh, Grant Vorschuk says, greetings all. Jeff T in the house. Fish Killer's here. Jay Manuel's here. Joni Metcalf. Uh, David Aaron is in the house. Yeah. Uh, Jay Steele. Um, man watching TV says, what's up? Uh, Shannon West. Tell lead dev to be transparent and burn, et cetera. You know, that's that's exactly right. They're, they're, every token needs to have all of that kind of stuff. We have Jawa vaulting it up in the house. Uh, Chuckles Page, what is going on? Crypto Stevo in the house. Tim Davey um, got a great deal on Divorce Barbie. Got Kensington Car and House. And uh, uh, Kensington. That's a stupid name. 
Uh, Ken, yeah, gross. Uh, anyway, Jorge says hello. Juan Torres from Odessa, Texas, in the house, and Shibarium has to be amazing. Actually, just has to be really good right now and get developed into something uh, really decent. It really doesn't have to be amazing. It just has to be slightly better than Ethereum in terms of price, in, in terms of, of function, in terms of use. Uh, but we've, we're, we're on the verge, by the way, of Shibarium getting on just a magnificent sort of run. I, 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 I think that it's going to start burning a lot of tokens. Uh, I, I think that, you know, obviously Bone will benefit greatly from it. 7.5 million Bone uh, staked so far. Uh, so just a lot uh just 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 a lot going on uh how low is bad idea ai going to dump what well, yeah uh, here's the thing like uh, it's going to dump like every other token dumps i mean where are we at here bad um uh, god damn it this one's all right so I think this one's going to reverse. Like I, I, I would think this is going to reverse. Um, it, it's, I mean, it, it's running kind of hot right now. Um, uh, but I think the FOMO is going to build up uh, because everything in this Shibarium ecosystem is probably due for just a a, a big run. Diggy's in the house, eighty eight thousand bone holders. Um, that's a that is a giant circle jerk, guys. That that is a gigantic one. Uh, so good luck to those guys. 88,000 of them. Woo. Alexis, Texas, where are you? Um, isn't that her name? Isn't that the name, the name of that one lady who did all the dudes? Uh, anyway, so, uh, moving on to some predictions here. Predictions, um, the, uh, the prediction here, uh, and I don't have any source on this except SHIB news, uh, with the potential public restart of Shibarium on the horizon, there's a beacon of hope for SHIB price. A successful relaunch might propel SHIB to soar by 37%. And retouch its four-month peak at eleven through at eleven thirty-four. It was eleven three thirty-six. Um, that was the number that we had, uh, which was right over here. Do 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 do. Uh, right here, eleven three sixty-six. Right there at the top. Um, you know, look, we're not dead. Uh, we had a pause for the moment, so I would expect that we're probably going to visit. Uh, it, it's going to be difficult, by the way. Like, like we're going to see this thing kind of, kind of be, you know, be a little difficult. But um, I mean, at least we can get up here and probably drop that zero. Uh, maybe get a little bit of a run to that. Uh, Bone, I think, probably runs a little bit better uh, than that. So you know, a dollar fifty-five, a dollar sixty, dollar seventy uh, could be in the cards for Bone. I just get the feeling. Um, I, I get the feeling that that could be something that happened. Uh, anybody remember Clifford, uh, the big red ugly dog? Uh, that Clifford Inu was a uh, uh, that 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 was a uh, that was a big run before it became a disaster. So, you know, I think we're gonna be. Uh, uh, I think it's gonna be. Look, I think a lot of these tokens that that we think are dead are gonna be just fine. By the way, uh, I think they'll you know start to re start to rally and reverse. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about even Clifford. Even Clifford's gonna probably do like a. a a three or four or five or six X in the next bull run, people are going to be like, oh, look at that. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, but, uh, by the way, if you don't get selected, $4.99 uh, for a membership uh, still uh, applies. And if you renew it, then you'll always be a member and you'll always get inside details, uh, secret stuff. And, by the way, I got some secret stuff. Uh, Y'all want to see some text messages from BitBoy Crypto uh, this morning uh, when I woke up? Uh, no, you can't see that because um, he would be like, eh, gross. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. But, you know, it's it's it's, it's not gay if you tell people. So uh, also the market is starting to wane. So maybe our short is going to play off pretty well uh, <laughs> over here. Uh, so, you know. Uh, maybe good things are happening, but let's get back into it. Uh, so prediction of 37% increase to 11, uh, 11, 366. Uh, again, very possible to achieve. I, I, it's going to take a lot, by the way, it's going to take a really well working. And I think somebody said it better be working really good. Um, uh, it, 
yeah, that probably, you know, if we start burning, that's the, that's the important part, right? Um, that's, that's the important part, uh, is we got to find that, that spot where, um, um, where we see just a, a magnificent amount of burn. If we see a magnificent amount of burn happening, then in, in SHIB and in bone, uh, but, but really SHIB, then this thing is going to start rocketing because everything is speculative at this point, right? We don't have any real confirmation. Uh, what we have is speculation. And the speculation would be uh, that uh, SHIB is going to hit new all-time highs and stuff like that. Like that's where the rampant speculation will matter. So um, I, I, I get the sense that, uh, you know, maybe this didn't work out the way that we thought it was going to, but in the end, we might be looking at some new floor levels, which are as high or higher than some of these previous ones. It, it, it's, um, um, it, it, it's possible. Uh, but let's uh, let, let's move on from that and go to this one. Uh, Shiba Inu gears up for Shibarium. Winners focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. And that's actually a pretty good. Uh, that's the title of today's episode. Uh, but it, I think that you know we we read about it in the uh, uh, in the fourth update. But uh, this is um, you know this is a lot of um, a lot of public stuff about people who are hating on the project, continuing to hate on the project. And here's the thing. This is, and, and this is kind of ridiculous, guys, but here's here's what's going to happen. There's going to be people out here who are going to say that all of this stuff is, um, it, it'll never launch or, the, you know, something like that, or it's not real or, you know, whatever they say about uh, Shibarium. And the developers are like, you guys are lying. This is going to happen. We're going to make this thing fly. It's going to be awesome. And then, um, the the fudders, the people who are saying that this is never going to happen, then what they're going to end up doing is they're they're going to come out here. They're going to be like, never going to happen. And then when it happens, they're going to be like, well, it's not going to work right. And then when it works right, they're going to be like, oh, oh, well, anyway, you should invest in this new shit coin that I have over here because this one's going to do a million, billion, jillion times more than shit. I mean, that's what's happening, right? Like that's I mean, we do recognize that we are savvy enough to to realize that you know this is just one of those uh, this is one of those raccoon things, right? Where uh, the raccoon's like, oh, we gotta go to the next one. Uh, uh, we gotta go. <clears throat> I don't like Groot anymore. I need another Groot. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those things. So you know, I think we should all recognize that. And and a lot of the times that FUD uh, and sometimes it's paid. I did not believe that when getting into this space that there were people. Uh, that, that, that there were that there were people that actually paid people to FUD, and I've never had anybody pay me to FUD. Uh, but God damn it, Pepe, too. Uh, you guys, I wish somebody would have paid me for that one because that was the the rightest thing I could have ever been. Uh, or that X thing, Jesus Christ, man. If I could have just gotten a little, if y'all could have just paid me a little bit to FUD that shit, man. God damn it, that would have been awesome. Uh, anyway, um. But yeah, people do pay people to FUD projects and just do just raggedy bullshit. And and like it's so I, I really just kind of hate that about the space. But you know what? You gotta deal with it. You know what I mean? You you gotta deal with it. Um so you know what I mean? Um yeah, but they pay me to promote it, and I still promote it. Um, I was on their live stream yesterday, I was on their spaces yesterday, I was on Pablo's show a couple days ago, and they don't pay me anymore. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I don't still do it, uh, that I don't still support them. Um, and, and the, the reason for that is I will tell you, and you will know, uh, when, uh, when I have a project here and I'm like, eh, maybe shit will happen. Maybe it won't, uh, because it's wildly speculative, but when I like something, you will know that I like something like Advantis AI. I like Advantis AI Volt. I like Volt hundred X gems. I like hundred X gems. Deconnect. I like Deconnect. It's just a brutal market. This is just a brutal market. And you know what I mean? Um, the rest of it, I mean, we'll we'll just we'll kind of see. I like Wag Me Games. Uh, I think that that you know, there's some potential, and there's some things out there with potential um, that that are are going to happen, right? But you know, and um, by the way, I like Blunt says here. I, I got paid by Volt for a long time, and look, man, live your fucking dream. Like Volt is my favorite project in cryptocurrency, uh, so why not live my dream? You know what I mean? Like, uh, you gonna be mad at me for that? Bitch, please. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I got to make vaulted believer gear. I got to do all that kind of stuff. Uh, Believeonomics. Um, hey, you're welcome, man. I, pre I appreciate that. Anyway, um, you get the um, you get to and vault nut hug shit. Well, who ever who doesn't? I mean, everybody does something to to somebody else because you're trying to get that 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 clout that you want off of somebody else's uh, stuff. Uh, and you're trying to create a synergy within an ecosystem and all those kind of things. Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, that's 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 called savvy marketing. Um, and, and the only people that shit on that are the people who their rival team beats them. And they're like, eh, the refs were paid or, you know, some stupid shit like that. Like, I'm, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky originally. I live in Chicago now. But but if, in Louisville, Kentucky, when Louisville would win, Kentucky fans would be like, Oh, the refs cheated or somebody, you know, some shit like that. And when uh, Kentucky won, uh, then Louisville fans would be like, yeah, the fucking refs are paid, uh, you know, they're the corrupt arena and just, you know, stupid shit like that. Right. And those are the kind of people that just cry and bitch about everything and just have like, yeah, well, you did this kind of shit over there. And who cares? Um, like, you know what I mean? Uh, take yourself to Georgia, put yourself in a planner's tree and grow nuts. You know what I mean? It's, it's a difficult market. It's a complicated thing. And take your clout and do it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about right there. Shiba bought you a car uh, in cash. So, yeah. Um, and I've had cryptos that have bought me uh, a, a brand new car. Uh, well, it's not a brand new car anymore. I bought it like two years ago. But why not? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I Live your dream. Make your money. And to be fair here, um, like it, 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 when you say... Um, this one, uh, Nut Hug Shiba. There's a giant list of projects that are in Shibarium that are part of the ecosystem that are all doing those kind of things. Um, there, there's going to be there, there's hundreds of them. You know what I mean? Like Volt is Volt is not special in that regard. Everybody uh, looks to the big dog for guidance. You know what I mean? Like that's the the leader of the pack, and the Inus are just kind of a pack. So yeah, it's cool stuff. So anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, Coinbase has now taken a stake uh, uh, in uh, USDC. And according to Circle's blog post, cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase has bought a minority stake in Circle Internet Financial while dissolving their center consortium partnership that had issued USDC, the world's second largest stablecoin. In the jointly authored blog post, Circle CEO Jeremy Allaire and Brian Armstrong of Coinbase said, Circle and Coinbase, the founding companies behind the Center Consortium, a jointly managed self-governance consortium for USDC, have agreed that with growing regulatory clarity for stablecoins in the U.S. and around the world, the requirement for a separate governance body like Center is no longer needed. Center will no longer exist as a standalone entity, and Circle will remain the issuer of USDC, bringing any Center governance and operation responsibilities in-house. In 2018, USDC is tethered to the value of the U.S. dollar, ensuring a steady price of a dollar through reserves composed of dollar-equivalent assets. Although Circle conceived the initial concept, the company established an autonomous consortium called Center to oversee the token. So, uh, and, and this is a good thing for uh, both for Coinbase because now Coinbase has basically its own preferred stablecoin um, that's not tethered, that, that's not tied to, uh, to, to tether. So... Uh, this creates um, just like uh, just like BNB has its own, um, uh, you know, BUSD uh, and, and most of these guys have their own like, you know, now Coinbase is going to have USDC, which will quickly become USD Coinbase. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like it seems like that's the, the, the move that they're going to make. And as the big dog in the block, it stands to reason that that circle gains a lot of credibility because we remember when circle came de-pegged allegedly and it did and it, and it did become de-pegged but the assets were still available it was just the the banks closed on the weekend and justin sun made a ton of money uh shorting it and then longing it at like 90 cents like it was a crazy weekend but that was also the weekend that we got clarity on the banks doing the takeovers and that's when crypto started to pump like crazy uh so it was a, just an interesting time uh, at that moment but now we have circle uh, co going basically in-house with Coinbase. So it should be interesting to see how this dynamic starts to play out. Uh, there's no fee, by the way, uh, when you cash out USDC on Coinbase. And there's not on Tether either right now. Uh, but I think that there'll be a fee on Tether and there'll be uh, it'll be free on USDC coming very soon. 
uh, just to uh, kind of sweeten the pot, so to speak, so that people use USDC versus Tether going forward. And that's what I use, by the way, is USDC. Um, yeah, so uh, let's move on here. Uh, SHIB grabs attention on Google Trends. This is important. This is from BitGet Global. This is one of the largest uh, crypto exchanges in the world. Due to the unexpected traffic surge after the launch of Shibarium, the network entered a fail-safe mode and halted operations to ensure fund safety. As a result, SHIB anticipated performance was realized and it declined. Uh, this was just kind of an update from BitGet explaining to you why specifically there was a decline in SHIB and letting you know, you know, probably there's a reversal due. Like that's the underlying sentiment here uh, for anybody who's curious. There's there's going to be a reversal here uh, and it's coming very soon. Now, uh, speculative money um, had kind of moved back in for a little bit here. So that's what we were seeing. Um with this little mini pump that we're getting right now uh, from from where are we at here uh, from a dollar nine the other day uh, we're up to a dollar almost a dollar twenty right now uh, shib uh, you know a little bit but as soon as the reason we're not getting the big big move by the way is because some people want to see it working right that's what everybody wants to see they want to see show me something that does something when that first came out by the way. Uh, when it first came out, you saw it kind of capped up here at 8,000, came back down, and then boom, you know, um, do we have, well, I guess boom is the speculative part. Do we have that boom coming uh, or do we not have that boom coming? So, you know, we'll see what happens there. But uh, I'm super excited about what's going on with SHIB going forward. Polygon, however, uh, price enters a danger zone. Key indicators suggest another 20% drop. And if this shit drops another 20%, if, if Matic goes down another 20%, where is Matic? Well, we got to find it on the list here. I got to I gotta pare this list down, by the way. This is too many goddamn tokens. But, God damn it, we should have shorted this. Look at this. This 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 falling off a cliff uh, as uh, Polygon token. Uh, man, we should have shorted. This is one of them that we should have shorted last night. We're going to go check the shorts and see what the status is, by the way. Uh, Solana was not having a good day of it, uh, which was good for us because we had shorted Solana. So uh, where is Sol right there? Uh, yeah, boom. Uh, didn't come down nearly as much as Matic. Remember, we were talking about Matic, by the way. We were talking about Matic last night, and I was like, you know what? That's the one, right? Like, it's going to fall off a cliff, right? Uh, is that going to happen or not? And then uh, we ended up taking a different one than Matic because I thought it's too obvious. You know, like, I, I felt like, um, cause I was on the inside knowing that I was like, eh, it seems too obvious. Uh, I bet the price pumps on it instead. And it didn't, it fell off the, fell off the cliff. So shout out to me for not listening to myself. Um, crypto expert predicts when Bitcoin price will reach 30,000. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but it's Dimitri and it's Dimitri Noskov. And basically what he says is the same thing that I've been telling you guys all this time. We are going to have another pump and we're going to get up over 30,000, but we cannot maintain and we will not be able to sustain that sort of run right now. Now, when we do that, that's going to be a 10, 15 percent bump in Bitcoin, which would be a you know 20 or 30 percent bump in many of the alts and stuff like that after the money comes out of the alts in order to sustain that Bitcoin sort of rally. So, you know, I'm, I'm expecting things to start happening. We're going to get into the charts in just a few minutes. We're almost there. Uh, the days of Bitcoin big pumps are over, according to Bloomberg macro strategist. Uh, and that's Mike McGlone. Mike McGlone is actually uh, an important guy at Bloomberg Intelligence. Um, and he says that at about 3x that of gold, my graphic shows Bitcoin's 90 day volatility still relatively elevated versus the conventional store of value. Uh, but well off the peak from 2018 of around 12x. So it's saying that that Bitcoin's volatility is starting to come down. And this right here is the most important part to this article. The analyst argues that Bitcoin is going through a maturation process and deterioration of its nascent vigor. He also warns that Bitcoin could face an elongated retracement period. About 10% guaranteed return in two years may change everything. The last time the U.S. Treasury two-year Note yielded about 5% was before the financial crisis and birth of Bitcoin, which may portend the headwinds facing those risk assets. My analysis focused on 100-week moving averages showed shows mostly downward biases, notably versus the steepest treasury yield competition in almost two decades. So you know, basically what he's saying is that Bitcoin as an asset is about to get far less volatile 
and way more predictable. And when it becomes way more predictable, that's when you really start to see uh, that big move. That's when you really start to see your uh, uh, Black Rocks and Fidelity. And that's when you start to see them bringing in people uh, because they're like, you know, this is a risk asset. This is going to pump super hard. Like we're giving you this uh, as financial advisors. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're going to do this right here. But then it's going to go up and then all of a sudden it's going to become far less, quote unquote, volatile. Uh, and you're going to start to see uh, along with the broader market Bitcoin is probably due to start moving lockstep with broader markets very, very soon. That's basically what this is telling you. Uh, so uh, it'll hopefully we're here for that last big run up. That's the that's the entire point of what we're doing right now. ETH price eyes 2019 scenario repeat. Here's what's going on now. Uh, looking at Bit at, at Ethereum, uh, you can understand uh, Ethereum is not holding up very well. Uh, compared to the broader market, not right now. When you look at uh, what Ethereum is doing, uh, it, it also ties into the same narrative that we've been going over with the rest of the market um, in that it had been doing an upward trend. Well, if you look here, it's finally started a downward trend. And uh, going back to Bitcoin, Bitcoin is still in an upward trend. So it, it seems like the 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 negativity around ethereum uh has reached a heightened sort of level um that I, I don't know what that signals but we are in now a downward uh channel and with that downward channel uh there there's obviously there's going to be some kind of pump coming at some point but it, it's really starting to feel a little bit weak on ethereum right now and that is because this is the riskier of the assets that doesn't even get us into SHIB. That doesn't even get us into uh, Cardano, some of these other um, altcoins that are in the top, right? So it, it doesn't even get us into that position. But uh, what we're seeing now is we're seeing Bitcoin still being a little more stable, and we're seeing a lot more uh, volatility uh, breaking out on Ethereum. Whether that's sustained or not remains to be seen. What we could see, by the way, is somebody could say something uh, in, in any way about that Ethereum uh spot etf or that ethereum futures etf uh actually being approved and if that happens then we're going to see a big rally and we'll see it at you know 1800 very quickly you know we'll see just a big ass rally but until we get that moment and until we see that then you know that wild speculation still abounds but it doesn't really mean very very much so uh hopefully uh we see a big recovery on ethereum but i don't know uh, and now, um, also, if you are playing Volt Island, if you haven't played Volt Island, uh, Volt has a game on Steam called Volt Island. You can go play it. Uh, and if you have a Volted Dragon Sailors Club card, you can attach it, and your character will look like your Volted Dragon uh, NFT. So um, shout out to the Volt Army for making that happen. Voltoshi uh, continuing to deliver uh, and, and pr providing... Uh, for the in for the ecosystem and the environment, so uh, pretty interesting thing happening over there. Uh, Bencoin, just a, a quick update here on Bencoin. Um, it's in a parallel channel. Uh, it, it's it, it's in the descending uh, descending part of the channel. Uh, so it's due for a breakout. The breakout, if there's any breakout, uh, that's going to be muted. Uh, I I do think that we're now we're not in this position. We're coming too far down. Right now for that rally back to 55, I think we're, we're basically along this line right here. Uh, whatever that spot is, is where the rally is going to go to. So 4,000 most probably if there is one uh, and then probably further down until we get that V2. And then with the V2, we probably get a nice little pump that, that comes with it because, you know, V2s do cause pumps, especially uh, in this uh, in this macro sort of environment. Uh, V3s are a problem. Uh, but the V2 should be a nice little pump on Bencoin if you are interested. Uh, and if you're currently um, uh, a Ben Max, you should be real happy with the results uh, real soon on that one. Um, Bitcoin liquidation levels at on the seven day. Again, it just really looks like we need this, uh, this area here in order to make something happen. Uh, same thing over here. We just we it, it looks like we've got to get that 24,000 liquidity in order to make a move. So I'm still uh, I'm still bearish until 
we reverse around overall long term bullish. Like you know, long term look, we're 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 headed, uh, we're headed in the right direction. So uh, we'll see how that all plays out. Let's get over here, Fair Desk. We are on our um, BS as they call it, and here we go. So Uniswap, we're up one hundred and forty seven dollars. Uh, Solana, we're up one hundred and twenty seven dollars. Um, so. The question right now is, are we going to hold on to this? Uh, are we going to let the market continue to dwindle because we're still looking for that 24? Or are we going to say 26 is probably the bottom and we're getting a reversal? I think that we're probably going to be looking at a reversal. If I come to the two hour, let me see if I got any kind of line showing up here for Bitcoin. There we go. Um yeah, I don't like that. Uh, let's do the day again. All right. Well, this pivot over here looks like it's going to be the spot. Let me uh, throw this up. Bow, 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 bow. Right here at 24. Basically, we got to come down just a little bit more. Uh, we, we, we got a little bit more downside to this. Uh, before we're going to be in the clear. Uh, however, uh, look at Uniswap falling off. Uh, that is just, ooh, it is catastrophic what's happening to Uniswap right now. Uh, so we are witnessing a sell-off in the broader market. Uh, good thing that we went short just now. Look at this right here. Um, God damn it. Uh, let's go on the one hour and let's look at what's going on right there. Oh, we got to get rid of this. Because that doesn't do much. Um, why are we on Hex? Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. On the hour right now, we're having a big time sell-off here. So, 250. So, we're up to 250 on this short, by the way. Uh, do we take profit on this or do we go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and set a position here. Uh, where are we at right now? Market price is 468. Uh, let's uh, take profit at four at exactly. Let's just take it at four exactly 468. So if it drops back down to that 468 level, we're going to take a profit on that one because uh, we're cashing out a couple hundred bucks on this one. This is a good. This is a good win right now. Um, so I, oh, and it's coming down. Um, you know. Let's just toss it down to 465. Uh, let's go check the market and see, do we have anything that would tell us? Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got 461 as the area down here. So we're going to set this at 462, just in case there's a breakdown. So in case there's a breakdown, we're going to set that take profit at 462. Solana, uh, let's look at Solana real quick. Uh, see if we have an area on Solana. Yeah, so Solana is in the same kind of channel here, uh, trading right around $20. So uh, let's get to Solana over here. And we're going to take that one at exactly 20. And we're going to confirm that one. And we'll take it at that point. Now, uh, Ethereum, uh, the market price, let's do sixteen fifty on that, I want to say, uh, just to just to take the win here and just to take the profit. Uh, so we're going to do sixteen fifty on uh, Ethereum, but we're going to let Bitcoin ride. We're not going to do anything with the Bitcoin uh, at this point. Uh, so <clears throat> I think those are pretty good levels right now. So we'll leave those and we'll see what happens right there. Uh, broader market. Uh, just reversed, so that seven it was down seven billion. Now it's back down to five billion. So uh, we are getting a reversal into the positive right there. So um, let's see what happens there. Hundred X gems up twenty five point eight cents, having another nice reversal. We made a video last night. We talked about this. Um, I, I think that that one hundred X gems is going to have a nice little reversal. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Wag me games launching very very soon. Thirteen hundred and sixteen. Uh, Bone, 
121 6. So having it, it's starting to have that move. Uh, ben, uh, 3025. Deconnect, 7466. Advantus, 1156. Volt, 2368. Uh, Shib, we'll see, 7960 right now. Uh, Pepe, 1058. Uh, we did bad idea earlier, uh, Cash. If you if you scroll, if you rewind, you can you can check it out. We did do it. Um, forty thirty two on Grumpy Cat Ethereum. Uh, it, again, thirty eight forty three. So uh, I think the reversal is going to be in up to five thousand fifty one hundred, maybe six thousand. We'll see what happens. Now let's talk about Lillian Finance because Lillian Finance looked like a rug pull last night. Uh, after um, you know this was this was just kind of out of nowhere. Uh, now, uh, so I'm still on, yeah, I'm still on Luna Classic. Uh, I'm not selling that for a long time. So uh, what happened here? Um, I'm not selling my Wag Me games before the pump. You know what I mean? Uh, so what happened here is uh, there was a, a nice little pump here on uh, uh, on Lillian Finance that started happening last night. And then what ended up happening afterwards is you had um, this person here, and it's my understanding that this is an OTC buyer, somebody who bought over the counter and not on the on the market. So could have been at a discount, uh, but you know this guy nine three seven D wallet just started selling off a lot, right? Um, so it looked like the chart just kind of got pumped up into you know a stratosphere. Uh, a, a little while before, you can see right here, uh, there was uh, there was some buys right there to try to pump up the price a little bit. Um, and, and look, I, I'm not saying that it was the team that pumped up the price, but they like to do stuff like that uh, to, to to you know to benefit the community. And then that resulted in people saying, "Oh shit, there's an opportunity here." And then they sold off a bunch. And you can see right here, they're just selling in in increment. It's incremental buys and sells, which means that it's somebody who's looking um to 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 start something like you don't you know you, you, that's they're looking to, to make something happen and then boom uh, the next person comes along and does it and continues and continues and continues so it goes from it was at two and a half cents yesterday or four cents yesterday down to 0. 0.008 all the way down here to 0. 0.006 now uh taking it to right now back up to uh two cents 2.159 cents so um I don't know what's going on with Lillian Finance, but I know that that looks pretty manipulative to me. Um, I'm sure there's a reason uh, because there was a reason for that one to happen over here as well. Um, and I, I do think that, by the way, that when it comes to stuff like this uh, with Lillian Finance, I think it's my opinion, and I don't have anything to back this up, but I think that they pump it up and then they then somebody dumps on it because what they're doing is uh, they're selling over the counter and people are are, are then... Uh, selling their tokens because they get an 8% tax. So you're not paying the buy tax, you're just paying the sell tax and they're getting 8% of whatever you're selling uh, in taxes in order to fund the business. But that's just my wild ass guess. Um, I don't know what their business model is and what their business plan is. So um, I'm still holding, by the way. I just haven't, uh, th that's just my opinion. So that's what it looks like to me. Um, and I could be vastly wrong. Uh, but it looks like they're just they're they're doing these things in order to pump these things up. And then uh, somebody OTC is just dunking on the chart uh, and they're getting eight percent off of that. And they're probably selling it to the person for like 12 percent less than market or, or you know what I mean? Like or 20 percent less than market with the with the guy knowing, well, you know, we, the eight, we need the money. So it's the eight percent tax. That's how we finance our business model. Uh, so then that person starts selling. And then there you go then you have 8% uh, taxes and you have the buybacks and shit like that. So um, it might be just an idea that they have to fund the business. I have no idea. Uh, but this is the second time in, what is this, uh, 16th? The 21st. So five days. There were five days in between this. So <coughs> I have no idea what the general idea is behind it, but they're crypto. So, uh, Nick Bright's in the house. Good morning. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of a wrap there. So, guys, be very, very careful in your trading. Uh, Shibarium should launch a little bit later on today. I think that we'll see. Um, uh, I think that we'll see something happen there. Uh, Luna Classic. Uh, Luna Classic is uh, they rejected 
the uh, team for the repeg. So that's kind of unnerving uh, and probably will not end well. But uh, they did reject the proposal there to fund them for the second month. So I don't know where uh, I don't know what becomes of this. Um, there will be a USTC repeg uh, with Luna Classic and there'll be a pump when it comes. I don't know how good the pump's going to be because, you know, uh, the, the natives are in charge. Uh, when you have a DAO uh, and, and that DAO is just doing, you know, random shit, then that's what it means. It means that there's no um, there, there's no, you know, there, there, nobody, there's nobody in charge. There's nobody's taking charge of that place and done anything. They said, Oh, it's going to be a Dow. And then you get stupid proposals. And then sometimes those stupid proposals get a, a little bit behind them. And, and look, they got issues that they're going to have to address at some point, but today it's not going to be that day. Um, I don't have any update on Terra, uh, dot money opening, uh, back up. I'm waiting to get a response from them. As soon as we have a response, we'll post something, uh, I'll put out a video or something like that, but I do have a video coming out today. And in that video, I have no response yet on Terra dot money, uh, being reopened and working. I'm not sure what they're waiting for. Um, but you know, um, it, you can't get into the wallets, So that's the part that matters, right? The, the, uh, they can't get into your crypto wallet. So that's cool. Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I assume it got hacked. I mean, that's, that's, I assume that it got hacked. But I don't know for sure. So if it's all in the hands of validators and, you know, everything's still fine, anything sitting on the exchange, probably fair game, but nothing really sits there. So I don't think or, or on the the, uh, the site. So I don't think it's really anything just, you know, the front end that's not working right. So we'll see how it plays out. But who knows? Anyway, this is not financial advice. My name is Blaze. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we will see you again for bedtime tonight. Hopefully by bedtime tonight, we will have a live working and functioning Shibarium. And if you haven't subscribed already, why don't you subscribe? Because this guy says it's a smart thing to do. I'm about to drop some hugely powerful alpha. And it's what they call it. They call it alpha, believe me. Okay. And not many people know this, but alpha means that I know big things, strong things, powerful things. So here's the alpha, folks. <laughs> If you want to be hugely rich like me, you got to join and subscribe to the Believes Crypto YouTube channel. You got to become a member because many people say, quite frankly, it's the strongest YouTube channel out there. It's fantastic. It's the best. So let me know what you think, folks. Funny Donald out. And if you can't trust Donald Trump, who can you trust? We'll see you again tonight. Okay. Whoa, another shot of the bullet. Uh -huh. Loaded got complex, cocking and pulling. Yeah. That bottleneck look like the Loch Ness. What are we doing? I'm about to fall out, boy, and the proof's in the pudding. So, can we forget about the things I said when I was strong? Uh -huh. I ain't mean to call you that. I might call.